one every time it gets over you. <laughs> <laughs> was it him? Can't say that. Get the fuck out of here. Get the hand in your hand. Times 100. I ain't doing no times 100. Mm. I just stopped playing entirely. I just don't care anymore. Monopoly Go can suck my dick. <laughs> I have too many of the other things that take up enough of my time. I don't need a fucking simple game to take up more of it. I don't need one of those idle games. That are Fuck, crashed. dude, I have TikTok downloaded. I literally haven't used it in like three weeks. Like, mm. I just, like, I. I it just doesn't jive my fucking spiel, man. Well, I don't Facebook know. Facebook Reels is the same thing. Yeah, but basically. It, yeah, but I but I'm more constantly on Facebook than I am TikTok. So right. that already fits into my schedule. Oh, yes. I'd have to cut Facebook down and add TikTok to that portion. <laughs> I don't know oh, if man. I can do that. My brain. <laughs> That's what I did. I broke down Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Every now and again, I find Twitch. Yeah, I just started Discord, using Instagram barely. for memes. <laughs> Like, there's some pretty funny fucking memes on there and some fucked up memes on there, I gotta say. I'm like, how the fuck does this shit get posted? Half the stuff like this on Facebook gets fucking taken down. What the fuck? I kept being on, like, oh, X or what, Twitter or whatever. Yeah, I use X. For a few X things. For, yeah, not much, because though. Because there's a certain people that I know that are posting right. certain, so much shit on right. there all the time. Right. So it's like, okay. Wanted, like, I tried using... Who? I, Jared. He sends me shit all the time on fucking Instagram. I tried... Oh, no, you're talking about Twitter. Twitter, yeah. 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 I, I tried know, using like Reddit, and, and I just, just don't understand Reddit. Reddit ain't nothing. I don't understand Reddit. Reddit ain't for nothing. So, <sighs> I said, fuck it, and I just don't use it anymore. It just sits on my phone doing nothing. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new and improved episode of the Milkman Podcast. Uh, I only say new and improved because there's no one else here. <laughs> back to the OG. It's yeah. back to the OG core four. Faster than Fortnite did. <laughs> Faster than Fortnite did. I love it. Uh, so how are we doing, boys? Uh, we are obviously, you know, we got our boy Josh over here. What up? We got our boy Joe. <laughs> and we got our boy Andy. Er. Uh, and we got me, Cody, uh, the milkman. Fucked up. Yeah, we got we got a we got a man halfway down here. Yeah, yeah, he's not feeling the greatest, that but he's still here. Yeah, I'm up ninety percent now. That's where I'm at. That's great, great yeah. news. So, uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of movie news, and actually a lot more video game news this week because the video game awards are coming out this week. Yeah, or Fortnite, or not this week. Yeah, that too. But. Mm. You know how fucked up that is? To see the video game, to vote on the video game awards, you have to fucking do it on Fortnite? <laughs> no, see, I don't think you can, I don't know if you can, I, I did read it earlier, I'm not 100% sure if you can vote 100%, but you can go into the map and all that fun stuff and look at all the different shit. But, uh, that's just one of the topics, we have a bunch of trailers and stuff that came out that we're going to review as well. Um... And I saw two movies in the, in the course of the last, like, couple of days. Well, not couple of days. Well, no, it was a couple of days. It was a couple of days. It was a fucking couple of days. Uh, it was a few. Uh, I saw The Marvels, so I'll review that tomorrow. real quick and let you guys know in, in a non-spoiler. There's, e. no, there's no secret ending after credits. There, yes and no. There's, there's one. one after the big credits, not the little credits. The mid credit scene is the important one that I saw. Yeah, that's one that matters. Um, yeah. And then I also saw The Which Hunger Games. Uh, the new Songbirds, Ballads, and Snakes and Ladders. Whatever. <laughs> songbirds and Snakes. Uh, songbirds and Snakes, yeah. And uh, yeah, we'll review that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there and just kind of spit the shit. So, first up, uh, we'll just review some of the trailers that we saw. Just because that's still fresh in kind of our brains. So, one of the first couple ones that we can talk about is the Madam Web trailer. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I'm a big Spider-Man fanatic out of all four of us. I love Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man to a T. Uh. <laughs> uh, Madam Web was a pretty out of all and crucial, uh, crucial part of the animated series back in the 90s. Yep. So that was pretty cool and to that's see. That's what I grew up watching. Right, and then the she did have her comic, <laughs> her comic runs and all that other fun stuff. Yeah. She's so obviously had some super I've never read any of her comics. comics. There's only been a couple I've read and had to deal with, like, her introduction, basically. 
And just a couple little things here and there. Nothing serious. It wasn't anything like they have now with like the Spider Verse thing and everything else going on. But speaking of Spider Man, my buddies let me borrow his PS5. I'll see you be able to play Spider Man 2. Sick. That's a good sign. I'm excited. And I might try to play the first one. I was going to say, I have the first one if you want to borrow that. Absolutely. I have to get it from you. So wait till that happens and then I'll come back for sure. For sure. But yeah, so. um... It is. It does. The trailer yeah, looks exciting for Madam Web. Yeah, it looks so, exciting. Yeah, it's, Madam Web. Yeah, so it's kind of nice to have a fresh hero come in. I I personally had to take a second gander at it. I had to take a second viewing. So I completely kind of understand what the fuck was going. It's on. It's a three minute trailer, dude. It's a decent trailer. There's a lot going on There's in that trailer because it's introducing the character in the trailer. That's why Correct, it's, yeah. it's intense. It's an intense trailer, really. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, so Madam <laughs> Web, so far the, there is an official release date of February, uh, but that is subject to change, but it might not 25. now, because, um, no, 2024. For Madam Web? Yes. Oh, shit! So it's coming out in, like, a couple months. Well, that makes sense, right, because that be Sony, right? Right, so yeah. the one thing that's really cool about the Sony and with Madam Web is that you have Madam Web, Craven the Hunter... And Venom wait. 3 all coming out this I coming can, year. Dude, I Sony's going to be spitting out them Spider Verse movies. <sighs> I cannot wait for Craven. Craven is such an integral part to the MCU. No, it's going to be such an integral part. part like Maybe, possibly. possibly. It all depends. We'll see what Listen, universe they send they, if, they, if they do it right, he will be an integral part. Oh, he could be. Very well. Especially in Spider Man. Like, just in Spider Man alone, he's going to be an integral part. Oh, for sure. I fucking love Craven. He's one of my favorite main heroes. Uh, so another one of the trailers that we saw was the Keep It a Marvel. I guess uh, was the What If season two trailer. Yeah, uh, I enjoyed it um, mainly because I saw the um, the one episode that we got skimmed out on for last season, which was What If Iron Man Met the Grandmaster. And that's when he goes to Scar and he's fighting with Gamora and they were in that Mad Max Fury Road looking motherfucking place. Dude, it looks sick. Dude, it why did we, we lost out on that last season? We Actually, did. It was, it was supposed, to, it was supposed to, be to be at the end, but they couldn't fit it in. in season two, and then there's an episode from season two they're putting in season three. This is why they shouldn't just limit it to nine episodes. Like, well, let's, it's budget. Listen, it's it, Disney. It costs, Don't talk to me about fucking budget. It costs money and it takes time to make shows like that. Yeah, you know but it's mean. also Disney. All right, I mean, they have Disney. money and they have no, time. No, yeah, they but the don't. amount of Disney money they've bro. lost in the past few movies has really fucking hurt them. Well, maybe stop making shit. Yeah, I mean the Marvels movies. alone has made only forty-seven million. I know, and, and that is uh, as, as, as it should. Make off sure, sure. As it fucking Disney should. It should. It, it should be treated as a fucking joke because people are sick and tired of the same, the same formula every single time. Give us a different formula. No, I just think it's because it's the homework behind it. Well, that too. Like, we need directors that actually know what the fuck these characters are doing. And actors on top of that, they know that shit too. It's 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 complicated. complicated. And they're just going to pull all these characters from these movies and make a uh, Watchers Avengers. Yeah, they kind of did. The Guardians of the Multiverse. Exactly. Yeah. Which is going to be sick. All right. Well, so, they, are they going to do that in the What If series, though? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's quite possible. So What If Season 2, that also is going to be an amazing... Just see, I, It's going to be awesome to the see. The first season was period. jaw-dropping. Phenomenal. Right. I, loved, I loved every episode. I mean, dude, just the scene where Ultron just fucking lasers Thanos in half oh, was fucking sick. Did not expect that. I was like, oh shit, he's already got two Infinity Stones or four Infinity Stones. This should be good. Nope, just fucking noink. Gone. In the blink of an eye. Uh, So, the other cool thing about this new season of What If is that it starts on December 22nd, and then each day afterwards they're going to release a new episode. So, December 2nd they release an episode, December 23rd they release an episode, and then so on and so forth. Until literally the end of the year, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's great. Um, I'm just nervous about it because it's going to be one of those things where um, usually when you have a show, you you know you come back week by week to talk about it. You have that kind of uh, 
We're going to make like a whole podcast that, that, episode about it. You know, <laughs> seriously, though, that is tight. Yeah. Not good on that, my dudes. Did you just put lit ash into a trash can? Not lit oh. ash, just ash. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll have There's right four here. of us here. You just got to pee if, on if it. If it goes up in fucking flames, one of us is stupid. Or four of us are stupid. <laughs> one of us is stupid. Four of us are stupid. The one who did it is the stupid one. Yeah. Uh, and then another trailer that we can discuss that we saw is the Percy Jackson and the Olympians. It's a Disney Plus original show that they are bringing out. It's going to be a remake of, you know, obviously the same name. Um, they released a couple movies in previous years. They were pretty good. I enjoyed them. I, I enjoyed the original ones, too. Uh, it's been a long time since yeah. I've watched them, though. And it's been a really long time since I've read the books. Yeah, me too. Um. I do love the Percy Jack. So good. Yeah, the, the, so it just um, needs to be done fucking right, and it'll survive. And I think that's what they're <laughs> going to be doing here. I think this I, is some good news. I'm inclined to agree with that. I I, I think so. I think it, I think it looks healthy. I think it's going to be good. Um, and then another trailer that we didn't watch specifically. I, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Uh, the Garfield trailer came out. Oh, with a. Uh, uh, Chris Pratt's Pratt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Really. I'm excited, well, but I'm still going to hold the original. It's mid. It's a little bit, eh, you know, here and there. It's Bill Murray, dude. Uh, <laughs> Garfield will obviously... I got an official synopsis I can read for the... For the movie, it's Double. called Garfield. is voiced by Chris Pratt. The world famous Monday hating lasagna loving indoor cat is about to have a wild outdoor adventure. After an unexpected uh, reunion with his long-lost father, scruffy street cat Vic, who is voiced by Samuel L. Jackson, Garfield and, him and his canine friend Odie are forced from their perfectly pampered life into joining Vic in a hilarious high-stakes heist. Films being directed by Mark Dindle, who did The Emperor's New Groove and Chicken Little. Okay. All right. Okay, all right. So it's just okay. a little brief little thing. So obviously it's going to be Garfield's dad's going to be into some scheming stuff. I love stuff. both of those movies, by the way. Chicken yeah, Little, no, um, Chicken Little is an all-time and, favorite And of course, Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove is a classic. Duh, classic. Absolute fucking classic. I could go home and watch that right now. <laughs> <laughs> no no wrong time to watch the Emperor's New Groove. Oh, uh, and... Yeah, yeah, so Garfield comes out. I didn't see release dates. There's no release date yet for it, so that'll come out next year, I assume, at some point. So yeah, there's that. Uh, another thing we're going to talk about is Superman Legacy. I have a couple things to talk about. I'm excited for the new DC movie, Superman Legacy, just because it starts off the new... I haven't really heard too much about it. So. Well, dude, they already have their Superman, they already have their Lois... They already have a couple other characters that are going to be casted. They already have, uh, what's his face? Nathan Fillion. He's going to be playing uh, Guy Gardner's Green Lantern. Cool. Which is actually Excellent. Pretty, it's going to be funny shit. That's gonna he's going to awesome. have the bowl cut. I and love everything. Nathan Fillion. I think he's fucking it's awesome. Gonna be, he's gonna be I amazing. love the, the show Castle. I thought it was fucking amazing. That's and true. his his voice is so iconic. He played Buck in Halo 3 ODST. Like, yeah, I love I love Nathan Fillion. I think he's fucking amazing. Uh, so the, one of the first things we have for it is that Superman Legacy has a confirmed release date, and it does stay the same as the July eleventh, twenty twenty five release date, Who which is good. Is playing the man. Uh, his name is David Cornsweet. Ah, Mister Cornsweet. It's <laughs> yeah, a funky little name. Sounds like hey. a corn hub boot category. Uh, and then uh, he's been in a couple of little. And Tommy Corn made this sweat. A couple of little things. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, people were worried that the SAG after strike would have affected the release date but because it was so far ahead down the line and the script already got done months ago. Uh, or at least, you know, a month before the strike even begun, it didn't really affect it, so. You know, that that's that's a good plus to it. Uh, and then for the other part of Superman Legacy, they release or deadline revealed that they have casted one of the villains who is gonna be the engineer. 
Uh, and she is a uh, part of the. I can't remember right. The authority? Yeah, that's what it was. So it's uh, one of the. Which is supposedly another show they're going to make it, or another movie they're going to make it under the DC <laughs> banner. It's the Authority, which is kind of like a bad team of mercenaries, I guess you could say, yeah, yeah, in a sense. Yeah, yeah. I think you heard of that. But yeah, so Superman Legacy is coming along. I'm excited for just the whole string of DC that they got coming out. Um, like I said, uh, James James Gunn is definitely going to do some More great things. Some great things for the DC. Yeah. Are you excited about the John Wick anime? John Wick anime, I seen ah, that was being that's in production. Be fucking it's gonna be amazing. sick. I can't it's be wait. intense. Ugh. Gung Fu in anime form? Say less. Say less. And then like, you know, the just the animation. Then then you gotta think like Who's doing it? Uh there's no studios oh, at the yeah. moment, I think. Okay. I think they're gonna be a pretty cool map and pick that up. Mm. No. After I uh, fucking I just read an article about the finale for Jujutsu Kaisen. Who did their finale? Do you guys know? With the most recent episode? Yeah. Yeah, that was Mappa. Was it really? Yeah, that was Mappa. Yo, fuck them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they slapped that shit. Apparently. Bro, they destroyed it compared to the manga. You don't even understand. They added like, they... frames into that. That made it a whole other level. I heard they like demolished the yeah, fact that it's like, it dude, Josh, oh, it's breathtaking. Oh it's literally don't out. fucking show me. It's I want to fucking watch world. the day episode. Go fuck yourself. Fucking famous ruiner over there. Seriously, known for it. <laughs> Tells me about the fucking Ragnarok episode before I can even watch him. <laughs> the most recent fight ended. Uh, uh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I didn't tell you who won. I don't know if you guys would be interested in it, but the Coyote v. Acme movie, have you guys heard about that? I did, yes, yes. Very upsetting. Uh, well, it is being shopped around currently. Is it? Yeah, so different uh, studios are looking at it. Uh, apparently, Chris, uh, Chris Lord and Phil Miller, who are known for Across the Spider-Verse, um, 22 and 21 Jump Street. Um, okay. It's a, been a, a, that's a bit of a jump, let's be real. Yeah, I know. The last two things but, like, I'm really like, known very, very for. very, very phenomenal movies all the way They've through. They've made a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> yeah, sure. Nonetheless, uh, they have said they see the movie. And they said it was actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of people have said they've seen this movie and said it's actually quite funny. Yeah. So, I wouldn't be surprised that it doesn't get released now at this point. And it's just a matter of who releases it. Um, well, and how much is that going to cost from Warner Brothers? Yeah, and that's another thing. Is and why isn't Warner Brothers, Brothers going to release it? Like, what's wrong you with see, it? You see, it's the president of Warner Brothers Discovery right now, currently, who's being this fuckery of dumb assery. Like, I don't understand. Like, why? But like, you're literally avoiding making money. He's scrapping movies left and right. First of all, the, the biggest problem, and I've read this somewhere, I forget where, but I did read it. That Warner Brothers, or no, I didn't read it, it was off the John Campion show, but they had said that Warner Brothers is known for being, well, the axing studio of all their streaming stuff, and this, that, and that. you know what I mean? Like, right. they're the ones that kind of started doing this thing, and they're the ones that have been kind of on this boat ride for a while, and they've, they've axed a lot more stuff than a lot of other studios have, so... Um, it, it's just upsetting to see that this continue to happen because people put a lot of time and effort and money. Yes, and the fact blood, that the movie's literally made. The movie's done. Like it's made. Like people. That there's, means that means people didn't get paid fully for that shit. There's just some you know principal photography they probably need to finish and you know some editing and all this other final production stuff that they need to do. And sure. I, I assume you know that's that's light work that they need to do, but still nonetheless. <laughs> The movie is already shot, 100% done. No, there and it has a phenomenal cast. John Cena is in it. Will yeah. Forte is yeah. in it. Um, you know, and I like that mm. it's a hybrid. Mm. But you also have to continue to look back at the last handful of Warner Brothers and Looney Tunes movies. 
Yeah. Their live action crossovers haven't been the greatest. The last one was uh, the Space Jam New Legacy with LeBron yeah. James. <laughs> they hit the shitter. And even the one was the 90s one was better. You can't redo that. No shit. And then you had the 90s version Space Jam, and then you had the Looney Tunes back in action, and then you had. There was another. I like back in action, though. But yeah, back in action was cool. I enjoyed it. And the original Space Jam, of course. Yeah, so, you know, you have to look at the track record of live action hybrid movies, too. They're just. They're not too known for them. No, they are not. And I will say that, like, the two that did do well were Space Jam and. The Looney Tunes live act, the back in action, but it no, was Smurfs did better. Well, Smurfs definitely did better, but like those two were like the OGs that really like <coughs> that and Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit's another one. You know that fuck, that that movie alone, and they fuck they they paid that Mickey Mouse in it. Yeah, they paid a lot of money for that. Hell yeah. I think he was in it for like a split second. <laughs> like, I think he only had like a, a second of, of screen time, something like that. Well, either way, I hope it gets made. I hope well, it continues to see the light of day. That's on YouTube, right? Yeah, I hope so. Um, and, you know, I, I want to see this movie. I would like to. I was excited for it. This movie was supposed to come out this past year. Wiley July. Coyote and Roadrunner were like my favorite movies. They, of all time. you know, they were the ones that you were always kind of excited to see because yep. there was never any dialogue. Nope, it was always characters. just fighting. So straightforward. This dude is trying to capture this fucking Roadrunner. <laughs> he will fail miserably. Every and you want to know how the fuck it happened? Yep. And you just look, you just, <laughs> you just laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And laughed. This shit was so it was great. Fucking funny. so to actually see Wiley e. Coyote get, you know, a go, his go, just go desserts. Against He's like, yo, like, bro, like, this all your is shit fucked. doesn't work, dude. Like, I want my money. I want. Some I want penance. my money. I want my I want, warranties, bro. I want something out of this. I need. I, I've I've gone through the ringer at this point. Honestly, yeah. So, I'm excited to see what happens. I hope that this movie does come out and eventually, you know, all that fun jazz. Uh, so, on another sour note of just more bad news of other movies coming out and everything like that. Thank you. Um, you're good. Hold on to this. I got mine. Uh, Avengers Kang Dynasty is no longer being directed by Dustin Daniel Cre- uh, Cretton. Who also was the original director for Shang Chi Two? Uh, he is sadly now no longer directing it, uh, but he is going to be focusing on the series Wonder Man, which is supposed to tie into Shang Chi, and he is also going to be working on Shang Chi Two. Finally, after years of not getting a sequel to that movie, which I'm sadly upset about because that movie is highly underrated in my personal opinion. Which movie? Uh, Shang Chi. Oh, Shang Chi was fucking amazing. It was amazing, and then um, I don't know how how that movie. I mean, honestly, I don't know how that movie didn't do better. It was kind of COVID esque ish at is the true. end. So that was very true. That you know, there was very little marketing. The marketing yeah. for the movie wasn't that great, but it was amazing. It, no, it was a great movie, oh. but it was it definitely is one of the better ones that they did put out too. Yeah, because I I, I I think I went to the theater to go see that. Yeah, I saw it a couple times in theater. I, I, I think I, w- I was going to go a second time, and it didn't work out. But, yeah, no, that movie was fucking awesome. I would I could rewatch that movie tomorrow. Today, wouldn't matter. Love it. Well, either way, nonetheless, we're, we will be getting a Shang-Chi 2 and the Wonder Man show, which is great, but Yay. sad to say that Avengers King Dynasty is it's starting dead. to look kind of a it's little dead. less Avenger y. Yeah, well, that's, you know, a lot of the issue is going to be because of Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors being in the shitter. People yep. not being all about this multiverse thing. My biggest concern right now is we just had the Marvel's office, like I said, and that kind of didn't do so great at the box office. So we nope. saw this movie. $47 million. That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. The next few things, or next couple of things, are. First of all, the Disney Plus stuff. We are getting the What If Season 2. Yep. And we're going to get that day after day. So that's just going to be one right after another. And you know people I'm not going to be mad that. about that. But then, you know, that's just going to end quicker than it started. 
True. Then True. another fucking problem that I just realized is that Echo is also coming out mid January. Oh yeah. They're also dumping all of their episodes at once. They, they are. All at once. Really? All five episodes. Not six. Five. There's only five this time. I know. But they're dumping them all at once. And that's what people are expecting that the show will be terrible because they're doing that. And they want people to be like, oh, it's terrible and it's this. So we'll talk about it for a shitty amount of time less if we only put... You know what I mean? It's less time talking about it if it's shitty. I just want them to stop putting out shit, man. Well, well, we haven't seen it. We've seen a great it's trailer. True. It's true, but even the recent stuff. But, like, you, you know, know it, it, it still does, again, come back down to the fact that we're, we're slowing down a little bit on this. Like, where's your this good Marvel directors? Marvel train. Like, what happened to your good directors? I know James Gunn left, so that's a big... Well, it's not even just about James right. Gunn. There's, there's more know. directors than just him. I know. It's just I know. about finding the right one, too, you know? Yeah. Well, they need to fucking do some better screening. Well, that's... <laughs> well, with the change back to Bob Iger from Bob Chapek, and Kevin Feige now has more control yep. over how the MCU is being story-driven and everything like that, which makes it better. I think so. I think Kevin Feige is, is a very good good source for this. Honestly. He's been, he was doing great in the beginning and in the middle and the end, at the end, at the end of the, the, you know, the big, the big phase with the end game and, and all that. And yeah, all that, all it. those yeah. movies were fucking phenomenal. Every single fucking one of them. It's just because they started doing this multiverse stuff. They were trying to throw a bunch of stuff out at you. Yeah. And it just started turning into more. They, is what, a lot of people say, and one person I follow, the, again, John Campy, says they just diluted the product. It's too much. Too much shit at once. Yep. We're tired of it. And then the fact that we're getting stuff that isn't connected. We're not continuing stories that we've already been introduced to. When we Don't get me wrong, I understand, like, Eventually. We have more characters to deal with now than we did before, and there's yeah. more brought... You know, I get that. Like, when we first started, it was, okay, there's Iron Man, there's Captain America, there's Thor, and there's Iron Man, or yep. uh, Hulk. Yep. There's your four. Yep. They each had their own individual movie, and then they had their fucking solo... Th five movies. Yep. Five movies in the first phase, Mark. Now we're in phase fucking, what, five? Yeah. And dude, I don't understand. We're already fuck. fucking four or five movies deep. Yeah, and I really don't know what the fuck is going on. At this no point, one knows what the fuck is going on. Like I know we're the discovering the multiverse. Like I understand the multiverse is breaking, yeah. and we're seeing it break little by little. It's just very, very poorly being told. Yeah, it's being very poorly told. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm not a fan. Of like I like doing it wrong. Like some of the movies I definitely am enjoying, like but like they don't grab you. Like no, the, no, like for sure, yeah. Some of these other ones, and I'm not even talking about Endgame. I'm just talking about any of the originals, any one of them. They even the first fucking Iron Man, like that movie, the first Hulk, that was fucking good. Like you know, I mean, sure, yeah, that was 2004 and blah blah blah. But like for what it yeah. was, it was good. I was later in 2000. Oh, the first of uh, that. Uh, Eric Bana Hawk? What's the matter with you? Maybe. That's a terrible movie. The very first Hulk? Yeah, Eric Bana Hulk. Yeah. With the giant CGI green, greener yeah. than the color. Better than a dude running around in a bodysuit. <laughs> yeah, now maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck, even Godzilla in 98 looked decent, except for the fact that it was a more reptilian looking motherfucker and I still don't respect it. <laughs> See, I got it in there. <laughs> Alright, so... <clears throat> get that Godzilla one more time. <laughs> That'll be a review we have coming up soon, folks. God, uh, Godzilla Minus One, that comes out December 1st. Yeah, we'll, we'll have, have a review very excited. next week for the first episode of Monarch. Because <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I haven't watched that either. We'll, we'll review that together next week for sure, my yeah. guy. Uh, so, 
Do you guys care? Do you guys care if I talk about the Marvels and the Hunger Games movies, or do you guys? I don't really care. I mean, I watched all three of the Hunger Games movies, and I read the books, four. so Games. I know that there's four now. I know there's four. I did not read the fourth book. No, four movies. I know there's also a fourth book. Yeah, fourth book I didn't read either. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll do. Uh, I'll do a quick no spoilers for the Marvels. It was alright, it was okay. It wasn't anything that was cracked up to be. Like, I wouldn't, you know, cry home to mama. I wouldn't run to the theater and see it again for the billionth time. Like, it was no way home. I saw a fucker four times in a matter of a month. Shit was a phenomenal movie. Absolutely phenomenal movie. But we're not here to talk about a phenomenal movie, a phenomenal movie like Spider-Man. No way home. We're here to talk about the Marvels and the fact that the Marvels was a mid-movie. Um... <laughs> I laughed at a, a handful of the jokes and stuff that happened in the movie. The best thing about the movie, my personal opinion, was Amon Vellani, Miss Marvel. She was great. Uh, Captain Marvel was great, too. Um, there was a little bit of hesitation with Sam Jackson's Nick Fury because the movie technically takes place before the Secret Invasion show. Correct. So, the way he was acting in the Marvels movie was way off from when we last just saw him uh, in Secret Invasion. Uh, so it's like he's all he's 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 more timid peppy now, and yeah, right? timid, and he's he's chilling. But real retrospect, it's like no, that dude's in mourning right now. He lost his best friend, and yeah. And yeah, granted, he's back in space with his wife and everything. No, right. dude's definitely in a new kind of headspace and everything. Right. Um, Setting up for Secret Wars, of course. But either way, I'm exci- I am excited for Secret Wars. Yeah, ever, ever, that's even if that happens. I yeah, let's be honest. Happen. If they get rid of Jonathan Majors officially, then they can't do so it. They can still do Secret Wars. It would just be different. They I think have they, to they, rewrite a lot of stuff. I think they, they should just pick a different Kang. I think that you should just fucking get a new guy to pay, play fucking. I say the same thing. Just finish the fucking thing off instead of trying to come back to it later, too. And That'd don't waste Dr. Doom. He's not your end-all, be-all. Uh, I'm also excited because we should start seeing Galacticus coming soon. Possibly with Fantastic Four. That news yeah, for that buddy. stuff is coming out. That's going to be hot to see that motherfucker in live action, bro. Um, so, Ooh. another couple of things, uh, the power switching that the Marvels did, I like that, there was a couple montages in there that I enjoyed, about them testing how to do it, like, with their powers, like, oh, let's do it this way, and oh, this is how this works, and oh, our powers still work after, you know, they were studying, and they were actually making plans around, like, the fact that their powers were entangled, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and the Fleur Kittens, which were the Fleur Flurkins with the, the big octopus. They had little kittens that ran through the movie. <laughs> and they were pretty cute. So, uh, so the Marvels... Talk about that and, popcorn bucket. Yeah, they had a Flurkin popcorn bucket. So in the movie, the Flurkin goose has eggs. Has little babies. So the eggs are like these like bubbly pink gooey looking things. But, like, they have popcorn buckets that are shaped just like the flurkin eggs, and they have little flurkin cups that look like cats. But there, it's a cup. That's, like, inside, so even when you open it, it's like you get the baby flurkin. It was cute, but it's $40, so it ain't that cute. Um, so that shit was expensive. I said, hell no. I got bills. Bills on bills on bills. Amen, bro. Amen. Was it 14? I guess we're about to find out. Alright, so, uh, yeah, Marvel's mid. I have to wait till it comes out to see it again on DVD or digital. I ain't going back to theaters to see it twice. Um, other game, or other movie that I saw was The Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. That was a pretty good movie. It was decent. Fucking hell long, though. Was it? Two and a half hours, man. I'm going to be honest, if they actually fit all the detail from the book in it. But see, I've it. never read the book. Yeah. And I feel more obligated to read the book now to get a better understanding, but like... Was it before or after? Of what? 
uh, the setting of the movie. It's yeah. before. Uh, okay. So this is about President Snow and him becoming a mentor for the first time in uh, one of the Hunger Games. So, okay. um, yeah, dude, it was, there were moments where I'm like, ah, oh, cool. And, I'm like, and then I was like, oh, I'm like, shit, this is kind of stupid. I want to know what ha- what caused the capital to what everything looked like before the it districts. actually does show a brief glimpse of it so there's like a whole just a war between all the districts uh, that are that's going well that's on. what the, that's what they talked about that's what they always talked about was the war right yeah so there you know there's the war that was going between all the districts and then i guess one year the guy just uh they actually go into a brief detail about how the games came to be in the movie. It's like, how oh, this person, this person created the, the games, and this is how it just continued to come about. It, it's... Castings are great. Everyone that played their part played their part. Awesome. But I'd say, other than that, eh, it could have been shorter. Yeah, I'd say, like, 20 minutes could have been cut out of that fucking movie. Really? That was unnecessary. I kind of felt that way about, like, the Batman, honestly. Well, you're wrong about that. So. Well, listen, dude, it didn't have to take him five minutes to walk up to a fucking cage, okay? Let's be fucking real. That yeah, was 20 did. seconds. It didn't need to take that long for John Wick to be coming up and down them stairs in <laughs> chapter four, but I was sure he did, and it made it work. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, uh, but I mean, at least it was you know full of action the whole time, including so him Batman. falling down the fucking stairs so for twenty Batman. seconds. He fell Listen, down them fucking stairs. Dude, dude. He did, but I'm, not, I'm specifically talking about the scenes where he's like, "No, I get you." No. That's all I'm talking about. Otherwise, the, that movie was phenomenal, and I don't want to get that twisted. Right. I love the Batman. I thought it was fucking great, but there was a lot of moments in there that like. You could have cut that shit down. You didn't. That was like too long of a dramatic effect. You know what I mean? And it kind of actually lost you a little bit. Yeah. Instead of actually made you feel. Well, there definitely were some aspects that I really wish. I wish there was more Hunger Gamesy stuff. Okay. Uh, like you know how they they have the actual Hunger Games. They do have the actual Hunger Games in the movie, but it's not as long as you think. I hate to say it, and. I'd say it maybe lasts about 10, 15 minutes of the movie. I'm not about that. I loved, uh, my favorite one, I think it goes for everybody, is uh, The Catching Fire. Yeah. It's my favorite one. Yeah. First of all, you got tributes being re-thrown into the games. Yeah. The games take up 70% of the movie. Yeah. The other 30% is them re-preparing to get back into the games, and this and that and the third, yep. and then, you know, sh- just showcase the fact that... Yeah, that was the second sh- one, right? Yeah, yeah. it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Dude, Ended on you. a great cliffhanger. Yep. Let me tell you something. I, I will always have this fucking shit. I will always have this little, teeny tiny little niche with that fucking, with the third movie. And the third oh. book. Both. All right? Because mm-hmm. they both did it, because it was in the book. But Prim didn't have to fucking die. That's all I'm fucking saying. Listen, she man. didn't have to fucking die. There was probably no right. goddamn reason for that shit. You're probably right. <laughs> there was no fucking reason. There literally, it was just like, uh, and a bomb explodes. What? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, no, it, it was still a good check movie. It out. I might actually get the book, though. And, yeah, and I think book. I might do the same. I'll read the book, check yeah, it out, see how it so. is. Might as well, I gotta complete the series. Right. If we ever talk about books <clears throat> but on the side, I'll have to watch. All in all, I still say yeah. I would I'd say check it out in theaters again. I don't, I'm going to see it again tomorrow. Okay. Um, so maybe on my second viewing, it might be different because I like I have a better understanding how long it is and all that other stuff. I know what to kind of expect for the show, right? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, so yeah, Hunger Games, Songbirds about whatever, shoots and ladders. Uh, she uh that's all she wrote so uh another bit of game uh news that we have is the game awards reveals their 2023 nominees so i have the full list of their whole shebang me with it daddy the what hit me with it 
Uh, so I literally, Smith. from all their categories, from Game of the Year to Best Ongoing, Best Indie. What's their choice for Game of the Year? Best. I'll get there get in now. a no. minute. What did you, say? What'd you say? Game of the Year. There's Best Mobile Game, Best Action Game, Best Action Adventure, Best RPG, Best Fighting, Best Family, Best Sim Slash Strategy, Best Sports Slash Racing, uh, Best Multiplayer, Best Anticipated, Best Debut Indie, and the Best Performance. So, we're going to start off with Game of the Year. Just Joe's a little punk bitch. And that's already what I had at the top of the list anyway. So, yeah, like, these, a couple of these, I was like, oh, obviously. There's one or two. No, there's only one on here that I'm like, really honestly, no, you know what? Yeah, there's Give me the two. list, just tell me. <laughs> First one, Alan Wake 2. Okay. That one surprised me because that game just came out. Yeah. <laughs> but it's also not, I didn't, I didn't really play the original, it. but... I guess there's a huge following for it. Yeah. Uh, Boulder's Gate 3, that was a given. That's Obviously, a fucking listen, huge one. They had a competition where trying to fuck the one bitch in the shortest amount of time, and they did it. It's like five minutes, you can fuck that bitch by just killing two people. Yeah, so the, the, everyone's <laughs> putting their hands <laughs> fucking Yeah, I'm serious. It's, it's literally it's a thing. I don't know anything about the game, so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know much about it's it either, Dungeons but it's ridiculous. Dragons, I, mean, I know, I, like, I know that shit. much. Mm-hmm. Like, I really roll the dice, and yeah. the dice decide your fate. Um, next game, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Woo! Yeah. Yay. Excited. Uh, another <laughs> one that was an obvious given, Marvel Spider-Man 2. Nah, no, uh, that, that game doesn't that, deserve that game. shit. You better yeah. shut your mouth, you the whore! fucking spider, that's all he is. Yeah. It's empty. I'm like it with the Zelda. Right? Uh, it's got another the one superpowers. that honestly... I guess you could say this one caught me by surprise too. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. That was another one that came out. Which one? Super Mario, Mario Brothers Wonder. Wonder. Oh yeah, Wonder. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I thought you said a different one. I was like, oh, I didn't hear about that one. <laughs> an RPG uh, and one then out. yeah, RPG one came out today. I thought it was sick. Uh, uh, yeah, and then like we have months. Resident Evil Four the remake. So those. I will probably are get the, that. I think I would too, but I'm, I'm gonna wait on that. Right. So those are the six of the nominees for Game of the Year. What are you guys... Yeah, up your, there? J- uh, we'll start, we'll go from left left to right here. Josh, what's... Probably gonna give it to Zelda. Zelda? Yeah. Okay. I think it's got too big of a following. I think it's got too big of a following. I think it's gonna take it. That's fair. Josh? Or Joe? Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, it's... <laughs> you know it's a fucking habit. Come on, Best Buy. <laughs> Uh, I play Zelda because unlike most Nintendo games, Nintendo doesn't milk Zelda as hard as they do Mario and Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Okay, so two Zelda. All right, Andy. I would definitely be about Baldur's Gate, but I don't know. Like I don't have it, but like if I pick one, I'd do that one. Okay, so you pick Baldur's Gate. Like out of the ones that they were. Yeah, there, well, right? no, yeah, that's. Or do I have a choice or something else? Choose. No, that's. Those are the six. Yeah, I would say that one would be one that I would play, and Spider-Man, honestly. I wouldn't mind playing that. You know, it's nice I have a PS5, so I can play Baldur's Gate. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be coming out to Xbox, I heard. It is, but it doesn't, I don't know. That's the other thing. It's said before 2024, but that ain't happening. Those two are console exclusives. What? No, Zelda. Zelda. Right. Baldur's Gate wasn't. No, it's on, it's on Zelda computer. Is. Zelda is. Zelda is for, you know, Switch, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And Spider-Man's, Spider-Man's for the yeah, PlayStation. Was, what but I mean, was there an Xbox Zelda. exclusive on there at all? Is Alan Wake an Xbox exclusive? Alan Wake is now Alan Wake. Yeah, no, I think it is. I think it is. Sorry, you should have marked that down next to the games. This is terrible yeah. researching. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, some of us know some things about what what is whatever. And Builder's Gate would be considered more of a computer game than a PlayStation game anyway, because a lot of people play that for computer than PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to continue off our, our list here. No, uh, it's not. It's all, all consoles. Yeah, so I was okay. So I was right. I guess I saw it on the PS4 or the PS5, PlayStation actually, Store. Uh, four, four, five. I meant the PlayStation Store, Jack, yes. Uh, so, some of these are also not a shock. Uh, the best ongoing category, top of the list, obviously, Fortnite. Next is Apex Legends. 
Next is actually Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk's the shit, dude. It After is. the newest trailer dropped and he said, uh, at the end of the fucking trailer, he said something about it's fixed. And he's talking about the game being fixed now. Like you can play the game without any kind of bug. Uh, and then we have Final Fantasy XIV. Mm. Still gets played pretty religiously, which I believe. Uh, and Genshin Impact. Damn, dude, that one's a tough one, actually, because Genshin Impact really picked up a slide. Uh, I would go with Fortnite. What's this for? But I also would go for Cyberpunk. Uh, what is this for again? Uh, Best Ongoing. Fortnite. Not really. I would, go, like I would go Cyberpunk just yeah. because it it's came a long game. way. Yeah. I, mean, cyberpunk, but I, don't even play it's, I I don't play it either like yeah. that, but it it I think it's earned it. It it came out during the COVID pandemic when it was rushed. COVID. Or yeah, or still, but it was rushed to come out because people were like, Oh my god, I wanna play, I wanna play, I wanna yeah, play. Yeah, but here's the thing, I wanna play Save the World, but everybody's like, No, Battle Royale. I don't wanna play Battle Royale, I wanna play Save the World. I wanna work as a team, fight off the storm, and get a goddamn pin that comes in the mail stating I beat the goddamn game. So you're telling me that there's a co-op campaign? Yes. Yeah, there's always, always been one. Yeah. Damn, I'm going to have to fucking... I'm going to have to fucking... I was going to pay for it. I paid for it. Yeah, obviously. You still have to pay for it. Oh, I paid for it. It was 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely decreasing price. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun, dude. Let me tell you. So Andy, really, like, power level you use. Yeah, yeah, yeah for now, for sure. I mm. uh, said so Cyberpunk, Josh. Cyberpunk, Joe. Cyberpunk. All right. Uh, best indie. I don't know if you guys. I've never heard of any of these. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dave, really the game, Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver. Hundred percent would love to play that game, but I can't. But that game looks so amazing. I watched cartoon play hours of it. Uh, we have Dredge. Cocoon. Dredge was actually pretty good too. Dredge looks pretty good. I saw some stuff for that. Sea of Stars and mm. Viewfinder. I heard Viewfinder, Viewfinder is good. Viewfinder. I heard Viewfinder was good. I don't know, but it's more of like. Uh, just yeah, no, like a look around and like enjoy what someone created. I remember playing for Ang the king. I remember playing Ang for the king too. Do you remember playing Anger Potato on the Xbox 360? I remember either. playing indie games, bro. Is that Don't out worry. now? <laughs> I remember playing Super Meat Boy. Yeah, Super Meat Boy. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, the the best mobile the game, huh? Best mobile game. Uh, best Mo Monopoly Go. <laughs> I guess that's the only one I'm uh, playing. No, uh, we have Hawk. Hawkeye, Star Rail, yeah, Doom Mobile, uh, Final guessing. Fantasy VII, Ever Crisis, uh, Hello Kitty <laughs> Island Adventure, <laughs> Hello Kitty Island Adventure, Monster Hunter Now, and Terra Nil. Nope. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's the one. Because it's the new Geshen Impact in a sense. I guess so. From the same creators. Uh, we won't vote on that one. This one we could all probably vote on. Best action game, uh, Armored Core f 6, Fires of Rubicon. Oh, I, I, yeah, fucking Wildcat has, I think, promoted that. Yeah, game so the there's that. Yeah. Uh, Dead Island 2, Ooh, Ghost like Runner that. 2, mm -hmm. Hi-Fi Rush, and Remnant 2. Probably Remnant 2. Uh, I've seen Hi-Fi Rush gameplay, and I actually like that. I wouldn't call it the best oh, action no. boss. Oh, yeah, Ghost Runner, <laughs> the first one I heard a lot of people were all about. I didn't see anything for the second one. Same thing for Dead Island 2. I still haven't seen any. I haven't seen any gameplay for any of these fucking games in yeah, quite a while. while. I know they have, and that's what's cringy. Yeah, I've seen gameplay on them. They're all good. <laughs> but honestly, I give it to Revenant 2 because there was such a huge upgrade from the first one. Okay, I'll go with you because you know your shit, so. Yeah, I'll probably go with you on that one too. On oh, what? Revenant 2. Revenant 2 for the best action game. Yeah, no. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. It's Fortnite only. No, not Fortnite only. You said party animals. I'm like, yeah, party animals. Like, yeah, fuck that shit up. Alright, well, here you go. So, uh. We did go Best TV action show, adventure right? game. <laughs> No, we didn't really go. Good. No, that's fine. That's good, because I have, I have a good one. I have a good one. You do? I okay. do. So I just finished a show, and there's the next season's coming out next year. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> so we'll get to that after we're finishing the uh, categories. Uh, the best action adventure. A couple of these are repeats. Uh, Resident Evil 4. 
Alan Wake uh, 2. Why? Why eh? Explain your answer. I don't know. I just haven't played it yet. Yeah, but have you, did you play the original? Yeah, I did. So just but put the, that in the place. new one is way <laughs> different now from the original. I know. I know. Let's go. Uh, but look, yeah. Listen, as long as you can aim and move at the same time, I'll be pretty fucking happy. Because yeah. right? that was the biggest issue I ever had with Resident Evil. <laughs> uh, our next one is Alan Wake 2. Again. Yeah. Marvel we'll Spider Man 2. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Mm-hmm. And Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on there again. So that would come down mm-hmm. to probably Jedi and uh, Tears of the Kingdom, honestly. Uh, I honestly would give it to Tears of the Kingdom myself, actually. Yeah. Just because of all the different shit you had to do. Not even that, just all the random shit you can make. Seeing people make fucking planes. And just oh my god. Yeah, everything my dude. It was, it was... It's basically Minecraft and Zelda. Practically. Um, where are we at? Uh, best RPG. Top of the list. Boulder's Gate 3. I think that one. That one's part of one. Uh, Final Fantasy 16. No. Uh, Lies of P. That was only a PS exclusive. Oh, no. Lies of P. Lies that's on Xbox. That's, that's, that's on Sony Planet today. Final Fantasy. That's on Final Fantasy. Yeah. Um, sea of Stars. That's yeah. the other indie that was on there. Uh, and Starfield. Uh. Starfield, they hyped it up so much for it. Game's a diver. It is a diver, bro. I, hate I love Starfield, but I hate how big I'll it is. Like, I can't. Uh, There's too the much to do. I don't have the time, bro. I, I do not have 400 hours to drop into a game. Why not? Because that's such a big game. <laughs> what else do you have to do with your life other than play 400, 400 hours? Go to work? No, no, no. no. Build a life? No. Your life is a Fuck game. my wife? <laughs> No, <clears throat> you just do that while you play. <laughs> no. Take care of me while I finish this, no, this mission. Just finish me while I finish this. <laughs> then we can all finish. You check all right, this what's, the next, what's the next that? category? Give me uh, the category. next category is best fighting game. Top of the list, Mortal Kombat 1. No. I've never played it. Street Fighter 6. Yes. God of Rock. Yeah. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Eh, I gotta give that one some credit. And pocket, pocket bravery. Heard that last I honestly one. give it to Street Fighter. Uh, I, I was always a bigger Tekken guy. Tekken, I love Tekken. Tekken, Tekken was a shit. Tekken, Tekken, was, Tekken, Tekken was Tekken eight. eight. Tekken eight. Tekken eight. Tekken eight. Tekken eight. Tekken eight. Uh, but I'm Which I'm one? going Mortal Tekken, Kombat because the they've been they've been slammed. No, sad face. How about you, Andy? Do you have one that you would pick on there? Well, I would pick Tekken more than Mortal Kombat normally, but I haven't played either or, so I can't really make the uh, Mortal Kombat 1 general decision. What was the last time you played play it? Fighting? Yeah. Well, it was the new Tekken with Seven, seven or whatever, okay. and I played Tag Team, and then I played Mortal Kombat, the, the last one. X. Yeah. X. Eleven. Well, they have eleven. 11 the last one. One. I played eleven. Oh, you played yeah, I have eleven. Okay, so uh, all right. technically Mortal Kombat one came out, so eleven's the last one. Yeah, <laughs> I, I played eleven. I played all the stuff up to it. But well, I love the hype for Mortal Kombat one. I think it looks great. But I looked, the play. graphics look better. But if you watch that shit on the Switch and watch that shit, well, I, why would you play it on? Oh the my Switch? god! Why would you, you do want that? They said next level graphics. Why would, they charge all this money. That's and, not next level graphics on the Switch. It's seven twenty p, bro. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, everybody knows that going in to buy the Switch. Yeah, well, they didn't really think about it because so you know how many motherfuckers asked for their money yeah, back. No, they said they were gonna fix it. Uh, yeah, so how are they going to fix that? comes out, going to be 4K screen, little tablet, little 4K tablet. Yeah, it's all just coding. So there's it's no just coding. It's code 4K screen into. behind it, too. But they're they're not going to be able to fix it, I don't yes, think. They, they can't make the graphics Listen, better. Listen, if GTA 5 can fix the loading times from be- 7 minutes to a minute and a half... That's because somebody else did that fucking work for them because they're too fucking they lazy. They didn't buy that material, they did it themselves. <laughs> No, they got that from somebody else. Somebody, somebody else. did it, yes. yes. But they want, to, they want somebody did it, they were like, all right, fine, I'll steal fuck your it. shit. <laughs> all right, so. They didn't buy that from that guy, though. Either they way. No, they hired him. They hired him. Right, okay, he hacked uh, him, they hired him. Next category, guys, just keep things moving. Uh, best family game. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Wonder. Disney Illusion Island. 
Party Animals, <laughs> Pikmin 4, and Sonic Superstars. Honestly, I gotta pick Super Mario over Party Animals. I'm gonna say it's gonna come down to Mario and Party Animals. Bar- I see party, party animals, animals being more of a of an online multiplayer friend game. Listen, I want y'all to not sleep with my boy Sanic. All right. Nah, he ain't gonna get anywhere. I don't think he's gonna get anywhere either. He hasn't had a good game since fucking Frontiers. Anyway. He hasn't had a good game since the one with the Chow Garden. Okay. That was the best nah, Sonic game. Mario and Sonic. No, nah, the Chow Sorry Garden Adventure Battle. The, the, the Chow the Garden was Adventure the best part Battle about the whole shit. fucking game. Tag team. I Sonic tag team sucked. Back. All the characters sucked, but when you play with those chow chows, man, who, <laughs> that was the best part about that whole thing. I, I wanted mean, to play Sonic Unleashed. I that really was good. terrible. Really? Yeah, that was god That's awful. Such a shame. I heard that was terrible that too one because Sonic that shit went down to five dollars. Worst games probably ever. Before. What the fuck? Dude? Sonic Knight was terrible too. Dude, I love Sonic Tag Team for PS2. You can fuck yourself. That was my first Sonic game I ever got. Uh, best sim strategy category: Fire Emblem Engage, Advance Wars One and Two Reboot Camp, City Skylines Two, Company of Heroes Three, and Pikmin Four. Well, I don't care about any of them. I like Pikmin too. So. Uh, yeah, Pikmin is a pretty notable one. Well, uh, no, best no, sports no. slash racing: Fours and Motorsport. Just recently came out. Uh, E8 Sports FC. 24, uh, FI 24, I don't know. F1. F1, there you go. Hot Wheels Unleashed 2, Turbocharged, and the Crew Motorfest. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's between Forza and Motorsports and the Crew Motorfest. Okay. They really set their shit up. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was ass, but now this new DLC and the new game that came out. Mm-hmm. The Crew? Yeah. I love that game, dude. I remember you guys played in that a decent amount before. I played it for a little bit, and then it stopped working. Uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And it wasn't even a disc. It was a digital version. I had to call and get my money back. <laughs> uh, next it. category, best multiplayer. We have top of the list is Diablo 4, Street Fighter 6, Party Animals, Baldur's Gate 3, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. It's actually a pretty pretty decent list. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, a tough I didn't I personally never played Diablo. Never got Same into boss. it. So that's already off the boat. Street Fighter has a person to home. Just cause you know those are arc- arcade games. You know, you've always played those when you went to an arcade at least once. Yeah. Uh so it just kinda feels nostalgic, but you know, they've been hit or miss lately with their games and again we're Tekken guys, you know what I mean? Fuck, fuck Street Fighter, honestly. Yep. And we've obviously already just had this debate over Street Fighter versus fucking what was Tekken. It? No, not Tekken. What was it? Mortal Kombat. Was it oh. Mortal Kombat? Yeah, well, it was Mortal Kombat. Well, we were talking about Tekken first, and we were was saying it? that Tekken. We were saying we like Tekken more than we like Street Fighter, which is true. Yeah. Either way, um, but I think I'm gonna go with uh, Boulder's Gate Three. Just because I, th- I think it's, got- it's gonna win, period. Well, I mean, you know how many motherfuckers play that shit. Everyone's right. playing that shit. Everybody's playing Um. And next they're going ca- hard uh, as hell in that shit. Next category, most anticipated game. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of these games. But Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, I have no idea what that's about, but I, I assume it has to deal with the original Final Fantasy game. I haven't, I haven't probably like Fantasy an add-on like thing. The fourth one. <laughs> Uh, like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. I think that actually something of that just came out, like a prequel of that or whatever. Uh, Star Wars Outlaws. I don't know if you guys have seen anything about that. Uh, it's basically just like a bounty hunter kind of open world RPG for Star Wars, and it's going to be pretty sick. Uh, Hades 2. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. I've never heard of no, no. the first one. Uh, and then Tekken 8. Pretty excited about Tekken 8, but uh, Star Wars Outlaw looks pretty Tekken good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just screwed that game within like a day. <clears throat> um, Every day can't be so fucking fast. No, like all the achievements in a day. I saw, I have barely played that game. It's probably a quick game, though, isn't it? 
Mm-hmm. Well, the games are when they like added Knock and like all these other characters, they got like you know Megan in there and yeah. all those ones. Mm-hmm. Alright, so uh, semi-final category is best debut indie. We have Dredge, Cocoon, Pizza Tower, uh, Vemba, and Viewfinder. Again, no idea what any of those are. I'm They're probably going to say Viewfinder is going to win because I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. So. But again, that is another, like, the name I just keep hearing. Yeah. Everywhere. Well, when you go off of, like, what you hear more of it. Is that the one that you have to, like, place pictures? And you can walk in those pictures? Into those pictures. That, that's Polaroid. That's Polaroid. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Viewfinder is the one where you have to find, like, you get to look at the scenery, you get to see what they've created, and, like. Maybe it still sounds pretty, pretty interesting. Um, and the last and final category is best performance. So these are actors who gave, you know, the best performance as playing the main character. No, no, you're right. You place the pictures and you walk through them. Uh, 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 the viewfinder. Well, yeah, because Schmitty, Schmitty's going hard yeah, on that Schmitty's one. Yeah, Schmitty's the one that played yeah. that one, yeah. And you have that robot you make copies of. Mm-hmm. Drop that picture down. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. So, best performance. We have Ben Starr, who plays Clive in the Final Fantasy 16 game. I don't know if you guys know who that is. I haven't personally seen or played any of it. Uh, we have Yuri Lowenthal, who plays Peter Parker in Marvel Spider-Man 2. We have Cameron Moynihan, who plays Cal Kestis in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We have Idris Elba, who plays Reed in Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty. Ah, it's Elba then. Uh, we him. have Melanie LeBert <laughs> from Grandma who plays Saga too. Anderson in Alan Wake 2. He's so hard. And then we have Neil Newborn, who plays Asterian in Boulder's Gate 3. Well, you know, the Builder's Gate one's going to be in the running, but Idris Alba himself would be pretty hard to beat. Everyone likes his accent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His, well, the way his voice sounds is awesome. So I wish he was going to be the next James Bond. I wish he would have been, too. Uh, that would have been pretty I sad. think that would uh, be weird. No. No, but I think, I think it that's perfect. why they, they didn't do it. It would have been a very subjective... I guess. It, no, it it would have been. You have to think he's been. First of all, I don't mean. I know. To I know. I know. Things. He's been white the whole time. I know. And you but for once, that would have been okay. No, but yeah, James, no. James Bond always changes at the end of the day. Yeah, but you, it's a lot of people will look Bond. at him as <laughs> the same kind of person than more of just the number and the label that he is. You know what I mean? And that's kind of the gist of how it is. You know. I say it is just a label of oh, it's 007. It's just a label. It's who. They designate as da 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 da. Just happens to be a guy who names to be James Bond. Yeah. I say it could be anybody. Yeah. Fuck it. I don't care as long as they know women. They not, not that I'm a sexist. All the time. They not change faces all the time. Bro, he could be a woman. It's, it's it's Sean, it, Bond no, I don't. I don't think a woman should be a woman. I'm Jamie Lynn Bond. <laughs> uh, all right, the fuck out of here. So, and that will be the highlight of the topics. For this week's uh, episode, uh, let me check our time. No, it's been almost an hour. It's been an hour and three minutes. It's pretty decent. Uh, it is eleven o'clock though. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do have to be at work tomorrow. So do you. <laughs> so do you. I'll probably cut this one pretty short tonight. Well, I mean, okay. it's a normal cast anyway. It's a normal hour cast. We don't have a guest, so... Uh, do you guys have anything you guys want to talk about? Rings of Power. Rings of Power? How's that going? Dude, fucking amazing fucking show. Absolutely awesome. Is definitely kicking it in the high gear this Dude, time around. Dude, amazing. Amazing. You get to see the creation of Mordor. You get, to, you get to see Gandalf fall from the fucking sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Does he carry a big staff? Not yet. <laughs> Does he have the right I'll bones? give him a big staff to carry. Right. Along with his... But it's very, very no, good. No, so I have giant sticks out back. Mm-hmm. Probably, probably 
There's at least a plank out there. There's a couple planks. But it's really, really good. It's very good. It's a really good build up through the whole thing. I enjoyed every second of it. I love the dwarves. The elves were perfect. Every everything was perfect. I thought it was awesome. That's good. I'm glad that it, that it definitely took a turn around. And I, I again, I think it's just because a lot of these shows, they've heard the cries of the people. Obviously, they can't appease everybody Dude, and Pine everyone's needs. It. But they're killing it. Another one that's going to be killing it soon is Apple TV Plus. Mm-hmm. I'm going to really consider getting that soon. Um, there's a couple of shows that are on there already that I just, I, I'm dying to see. Mm-hmm. Just like, and I've seen how they've concluded to a point, so it's like, and eh, no, I'm okay, wait now, and all that other fun stuff. They're going to be making a lot of cool stuff that come out in the very near future, and I'm excited for that, so. So, yeah, uh, Joe, Andy, you guys have anything you guys want to add on to the podcast? Mm. Still waiting for a fucking builder to get from next box. <laughs> It'll come out eventually. As soon as it does, I'm sure we'll play and we'll stream it. Oh, that's for sure. Guaranteed. Hey, they're trying to do the stack speed run. Yeah. yeah. Five minutes. You got it. You're going to try to beat that time? or No, you can't. Honestly, that guy cut that shit to the wire. Like, he, was, mm-hmm. he rapid fired through that shit and everything. Hey, at least he he's got this shit on a science, too. And it was like, you had to kill these like people. somebody trying to play fucking Ultra Nightmare on Doom. <laughs> Doom the point is... Having she's, to remember where all the enemies spawn. She's not even end. the best one in the in the game to have sex with. So, like, if you're going to do it right, you might as well get the best. Mm. Unless it's an achievement, then, you know, uh, I'm an achievement. I was waiting it was a priority of the game, so. <laughs> well, it's like Fable. You can get sex diseases and Did shit, too. Fable. You uh, play Fable? Ah, no. oh, man, if you fucked a gypsy, you were getting herpes. <laughs> it was a guarantee, I yep. swear to God. Yep. Every time. Every time. I try to do it different ways. And then you if know, you fuck somebody in the village, you, know you get the clap. Fable? Waggler's dad. Waggler's dad loved Fable. Well, my one buddy, uh, one, he fucked everybody, and he had like 98 fucking herpes and like diseases and shit. It was great. He's like, yeah, I'm riddled with shit, but I have five wives in different towns, three children. <laughs> like, Fable was nuts. The shit you could do in that game was Fable, just yeah. nuts. It was ahead of its time. Yeah, more than yeah, more than was. Uh, like if GTA got that fucking advanced, like multiplayer, like if it got that fucking advanced where you could have your own life, and well, they God be- knows what GTA Six is gonna bring. So, I mean, if they make it where you can have a job, we, that, we should be getting the trailer soon. Next couple Police weeks, and shit, maybe. like the computer does. Like if they do something like Five M and make GTA like that, people would play role playing servers on there mm-hmm. instantly. Mm-hmm. It's not even a fucking problem. There'd be so many more people playing role-playing servers. And Rockstar could really be making money from that shit. Right. We're already making a bunch of money after all the millions of copies of GTA 5. Oh, they've absolutely. Sold oh, my God. I bought GTA 5 back when Blockbuster... That's why this game better be fucking Blockbuster nuts. was still around. Bought GTA 5 for the Xbox 360 for $20. Well, everybody in here has bought the Xbox 360 version of GTA 5 at least twice. And Once. then... No, once. I guess once, and then everyone's bought at least the Xbox One version. Yep. There was no free upgrade for it. I've no. had it twice. I so then you had to one. buy it that way, and then they, you know, the digital version, and then, the, version, and then yep. the online version, yeah. and then the, now it's the Xbox Series X version, and then yeah, but that upgrade dude. came for free though. That was nice. The Not Series this X one, version. did it? Yep. Yeah, as long as you had the original one, it did. You had to have the original one, and then they upgraded. Yeah. Listen, man. GTA 5 has been around since 2013. Yeah, Blockbuster was still around. That's what I'm getting I think, at. Uh, like, you know, all motherfuckers need to realize that. that shit GTA was all 5 down. has to be... Toys R Us. The longest running game, like, ever. Right? Like, you mean on multiplayer and stayed online and still running? Right, to like, and, and, and adding... World of Warcraft. I mean, World of Warcraft, okay, yeah, but, like, that's PC. <laughs> like, uh, if you're talking about just <laughs> system, like, off of a system, then yeah. yes, it's, it, it has lasted one of the longest games. Yeah. like Because yeah. it went from console to console. It, it crossed consoles. It went yeah. from 360 to Xbox One X. Which means it it crossed two platforms. Well, it went from 360 to one to one S to one X to Series X. Yeah, and it they would they would move that shit to the next fucking system if it came PS3, out before PS4, they gave us the fucking next game. I swear right. to God, 
if the next Xbox came out, I guarantee you the GTA Five would be for that, and then they'd give us six. They'd be like, "Oh, here you go." We, we just... well, we don't even know when the release date's going to be yet for this game. Like, we don't even know what we're going to get from this trailer. The game it could be a thirty-second so fucking, fucking trailer, and they could be like, funny. "This is all what we have right now." Sorry, like you know what I mean. Like they, the game we don't is even so fucking, fucking know big, what we're dude. gonna get. The map is four times the size I know. of the one map. And that map was big enough as it was. I know! It was fucking huge. It took like 10 minutes to get to the top of the map. If you were walking, you would take you almost like four an hours in fucking, daytime. Yeah, to do that like shit. an actual four hour trip up to the fucking. The Just map. to go to the fucking. The, the town out in the fucking. Uh, yeah. Desert there, whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah. You, you walk you walk from, yeah, Sandy. You walk from fucking the bank to Sandy. Not even fucking just Sandy, <laughs> bro. You can go further than that. But, uh, <sighs> but this is what I'm getting at. Yeah. That would have took you four hours in, like, real life to walk that shit in the yeah. game. Yeah. That's how fucking long it is. Yeah. Driving your car alone, you can spend ten minutes in the game just to get to Sandy. Yep. It's fucking nuts. Just to think about how big that game is alone, and then, like, I mean, GTA Six, I might have to just delete GTA Five. Like, I might have to delete <laughs> half well, of right, my I games on my those. system to actually download that fucking thing. Is what I'm getting at. This thing's gonna be like a 250 gig fucking game, dude. It's gonna be ridiculous. I'm gonna need my own hard drive for the game just to play the fucking I game. I was honestly thinking about doing the exact that. And then have to unplug it when I'm not playing it. Like, all right, we're not playing GTA, guys. I'm unplugging it and pulling in my other shit. Because uh, the thing's going to be so goddamn big. It's like Call of Duty right now. I couldn't go to Call of Duty if I wanted to. Call of Duty is only 156. <laughs> what? Only 156. Oh. Only. Honestly, yeah, because I've seen it. I've seen yeah, but, it. I've seen it so many but, times you know, now, people have, I'm not even surprised by it. They have anymore. one terabyte, right? Most people have one terabyte. If they have a I brand have, new console, right? Listen, one terabyte. I have, I have, yes. That's already 200 gigabytes. Trust me. One terabyte. I know. Long. Trust me, Andy. I know. I know how fucking that means you can have works. seven. You can have like seven games with Call of Duty if you're fucking lucky. Dude, you can have seven games with Call of Duty. I know. I trust me. I know. I know. And it's not like you can download, re-download a game that you've already downloaded once quicker because you've already downloaded it once. Your Xbox or something like keeps a little register of the fact that it downloaded the game. No, no, no. It takes. Just as long as the first time to download the goddamn game, no, my, which nobody's happy about, because when we used to play, it was you put the fucking game in and you just played the goddamn yeah, game. There was no reason to download it, and you can't even play it without the disc being in it anyway. So what the fuck is the point? Well, the other thing is, is a lot of people have been stupid. complaining about making everything digital because then you're just buying the rights to play the game, to which they can just take away take from them you. Away. So Instead of you having the actual anything, copy that they can't take away from you're you, that's in your paying, plans. You're, you're paying to borrow the rights to the game. You don't even they, physically own the fucking game because it's on the console. They like, sell to you whatever they feel like selling You don't even own a physical it. copy of it. Like I, like, I haven't bought a physical fucking game in, I don't know, 10 years almost? Maybe? Damn. Like, like you don't have to. He's not wrong. Like you don't have to, and a lot of the like, stuff you, know, you can get for free. Maybe, maybe, maybe less than that. But I'd like, that's that. kind of why I, I, you know, have the Game Pass. Like the last set of games that I bought were Xbox One games, and it's not actually free, that's it. Free. Like everything else that I buy now, that's a physical copy of something, is an older, older gen game. I bought Destiny Two. That was the last game <clears> I bought. And I never fucking play it. Tears of the Kingdom was my last physical copy I bought. Yeah, I was playing it. Do you see a physical copy of that? Oh, anyway? not, yet. not yet. Not yet. You're gonna be. Not yet. Yourself. You're right, though. Eventually, it will be. It will be. Get the nice 19-inch statue. Mm. Your nice big ass fucking statue. Here you go, right there. I feel my bag of dog. All right, enjoy your piss. Mm, mm, mm. Are we still recording? Yeah, we are. All right. On that note. Yeah, we're gonna end the Milkman podcast here. Mooma's taking a piss. Yeah, we're gonna wait for him to come Mooma, back. Mooma, can sign. you scream that you're no, leaving, you know, bye to the podcast? Really came back that'd be out. funnier, Shut though. Up, but that'd be funnier. No, it wouldn't be. Oh, bye, dog. No. Joe's just snacking, playing games with her. He's too. Oh, shit. We should rip out of his thing so we can do one dab before he leaves. Yeah, thank you. For you. I, yeah. I know you do. You wouldn't be doing it anyway. Even if I don't do it, I do one for the one time, and that's about it. 
right I could definitely use one. I'm gonna take my TV back into the bedroom and watch Invincible all the night. Oh my god. Uh. So we don't have dead air? What? So we don't have dead air. What else are we gonna talk about real quick? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. I don't um... We can talk about how the new week just started on Fortnite if you want it real fast. Oh yeah, the new season of Fortnite's pretty cool. They took out a lot of stuff. They left a lot of stuff in there though. Mm -hmm. They added a whole bunch of shit. They added the miniguns. Rarity. Oh dude, I love that they re-added the miniguns. The mini yeah, there yes, is. There is. Yeah. Yeah, they re-added those. Um, I'm not going to be excited when they add the sword back. I'm kind of, I, I kind of like the sword, but like, that's, gonna be annoying, that's personally me. But I really do enjoy the grappler balloon combination because someone shoots down your balloons, you can just grapple yourself and save your ass. I use that, dude. You can launch yourself with that thing. I did that with the fucking. You used to be able to ride fucking stuff with your balloons, and you can't do that anymore, and that shit's stupid. Because I was gonna do that with the fucking hoverboard and run that shit and then go off, oh, dude. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna end the podcast here, my guy. <coughs> wait for you to come back. Right? <coughs> okay, wait for Andy to. <coughs> yeah. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in to the podcast. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're, we're gonna have hopefully another good solid week next week, and uh, keep you guys posted with anything else that goes on. Uh, so yeah, we should have, we could have a guest next week, you sure, with your, could, your sister? Maybe, maybe next week. I'm not entirely sure, it depends on when her son goes to the G-Mobs, so, that usually happens on Friday, but not entirely sure if it's every Friday. Okay. So, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Well, either way, we'll figure it out. We're about to have Mrs. Muma herself. No, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. I mean, if you want, I can probably get my mom on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have Cody everything. here. We got Josh. Later, motherfuckers. We got Joe. Later. We got Andy. Nah, I'll see you guys later. And that will be the podcast for the evening, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll check you guys later. Yeah. <laughs>